This video is made possible by the following mad lads. All their awesome gear they supply to me can be checked out in the description below. Hey guys, F197 is the best F1 video game of all time. Don't even think about adding me, boy, here. And welcome back to a of Corsa for another video. As you can guess from that rather biased introduction today, I'm going to be driving something from that glorious period. And that's this, the Williams FW19, the last Williams to ever win a Constructors or a Drivers' Championship in Formula 1. For those of you who are good at quick maths, so not me, that is 22 years since Williams last won a championship. That is a long time. But let's talk about this car a little bit and not the current state of Williams. This car, when it first released, was fairly dominant. In the Australian Grand Prix, the first round of the 1997 F1 season, Jacques Villeneuve qualified pole by 1.7 seconds to the nearest person who was Heinz Howard Frensen, his teammate. Nowadays, 1.7 seconds covers the rest of the field, ironically, apart from Williams, who are about 1.7 seconds off the back of the field in qualifying. Despite that massive gap between Williams and the rest of the team at the start of the season, as the season went on, the team just got closer and closer. And by the time we actually got to the last race at Jerez, and although the Constructors' Championship was already tied up by Williams at that point, it was actually Michael Schumacher for Ferrari who led the Drivers' Championship going into the last round. And with the points being the way they were, it essentially meant whoever finished first out of Michael Schumacher or Jacques Villeneuve would take the 97 Championship crown. And of course, those of you familiar with the 97 season will know just what happened. On the lap 48 of the race, Villeneuve goes up the inside of Michael Schumacher after the back straight. Schumacher sees it too late, attempts to crash into Villeneuve, which is a wheel to the right into the side pod, of Villeneuve but just ends up pinballing off Villeneuve's car and into the gravel putting himself out of the race and it was very much deemed at a deliberate attempt to try and essentially wreck Villeneuve and was subsequently disqualified from the championship making Villeneuve champion. But enough of the history lesson I'm going to get in the car and give it a drive myself. I'm going to be doing a six lap race here at Imola against the 97 Ferrari so we've got a field full of 97 Ferraris and 97 Williamses. Is, 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 is. And I'm going to be doing the whole thing in virtual reality because driving any F1 car or any open cockpit car in VR is just amazing and I would definitely recommend it. But time to drive the last ever championship winning Williams. You know what? I wish I could show six, seven year old me this because I would be absolutely blown away. Here I am sitting inside the 97 Williams, the FW19, lovingly recreated by the guys over at VRC. We have about 700 horsepower underneath our right foot, naturally aspirated V10, so extremely responsive, quite narrow, slick tyres, so the car moves around quite a bit and nowhere near as much downforce as the modern cars produce. This is going to be a fun ride and I'm raring to get going. OK then, so here we are waiting for the lights to come on in our Williams FW19. Engage first gear and try and focus on getting away nicely. Not too bad, a little bit of a horse win, but the way we go then for six laps at Imola in the last ever Williams to win a championship. A great start from us there. A couple of slow cars on the inside took advantage of that nice and easy. Splits a flame from the Scarlet Ferrari in front. Nearly runs to the back of him. In fact, I think I kind of did a little bit, but all is OK. Coming through the first chicane. Good run out of there. Slow Williams on the inside. Not really anywhere to go here. Coming to the second chicane. Break nice and early. Good. The guy in front sends it in. There's a car off to the left. That's a Williams. That's one car down, coming to the toaster, up the inside, nice and easy there on the power, and a good exit, we've got the Ferrari too, wow, he was really slow on the exit. Going to be progressive on power on this, no traction control, and quite skinny rear tyres compared to what we're used to today, Piratella for the first time, a little bit wide there, caught a bit of dirty air from the car in front I think. Down the hill, down to Aquaminerale, easy through there, you can feel the car moving around as the downforce peels off, and now back uphill to the very... Uh, difficult variant to altitude. It's difficult because of how much curb you have to take. Big hit on the left, uh, right and left there. Easy on the power when going over the curb. Do not get on the throttle, otherwise the car will spin. Wait till you're off. And now we plunge back down the hill for the Ravatsas. Again, very tricky corner on this. The rear wants to overtake the front because you're coming downhill. Second one, oh, a little bit too much curb on the inside there. It slows you right down on exit. Now I'm going to have to adjust my view to the mirrors. There's a train of cars behind me. 
not quite in the sip stream of the car in front. I'm going to be under attack from the car behind, so I'm going to have to try and squeeze him out wide. He's still there. Squeeze him to the outside of the circuit. He's not going to quite have enough to get through. Brake just glowing as we mash the pedal coming into the first corner. And we managed to retain our position, just checking the mirrors, making sure there's no one looking to pull a sneaky one on me. Through the second chicane, a lot quicker through there than the cars in front. Might have run into Tosa. Dive to the inside of the Ferrari. Easy, easy on the power. Soft. Come onto the power soft. There you go. No drag race up the hill with Eddie Irvine. One of many Eddie Irvines. There he is on the right. Not quite able to do it though. Into Piratella. He's a bit slow on exit though. The car off to the right. That's a Williams. Oh, I try and go for the gap, but closes very quickly. Think better of it at the last second, fortunately for me. And for the car in front. Back up the hill again. I've got to say, I love the look of these cars. I love these 97 cars. It's just before the 98 regs came in, they got kind of squished and the wheelbase became a lot narrower. This is the last year of the wider wheelbase with slick tyres as well. I just like that these cars just seem really well proportioned compared to the cars today. I don't mind how the cars of today look, but they're stretch limos compared to these things. They really are, but... No, I'm very biased. This is the kind of first year of F1 that I really got into and it holds a lot of special memories for me. So the idea of getting to do a, a VR race in this car is pretty damn cool when I come under attack from a Ferrari. He just drives past it. What is that overspeed there? Must be the slipstream. Wow, look at the slipstream. I gained 15 Ks just by dropping in to the toe of the car in front. That's crazy in that short space of time. But now we know why he gained me so quickly. Shouldn't be yabbing as much. Should be looking at my mirrors, I guess. Losing a place there. Easy through there, just trying to be nice and careful. You want to make sure you're taking care of the car through these slow speed corners. It's so easy to have it just come round on you. Of course, no traction control on this thing, no ABS, nothing like that at all. So it really is just a driver's car. And you can see on the steering wheel, what's that, four buttons? And one of them being an engine cut button compared to the, uh, you know, the blooming Game Boy Advance or whatever the hell it is. <laughs> Boy, that's how old now. The blooming switchboard you have on modern F1 cars. Oh, Jesus. Something you don't really know from that Astro issue there is how slippy it is, which is why I was so cautious getting on the power. Of course, it's going to cost me coming downhill, though. I've got to really focus on getting a better exit to the second Ravazza. I'm so slow for here. I'm losing so much time. It's a bit better. Let's check the mirrors. There's a Ferrari there in the slipstream. We're starting to fall back a bit now. We had a good run, but it seems that if the car's getting lighter, I'm just not quite as uh, able to keep the car. Well, there goes a the Ferrari on the inside. There's nothing I can do about that. The overspeed is absolutely ridiculous. Again, brake just glowing. I love that detail in this car. Good run out of Tamburello, though. I'm about to get him back coming out into the second chicane. That Ferrari just seems faster in a straight line than we are. I'm running a little bit less down for some baseline just to try and compensate for that, but I can't quite manage it. Rutosa again, he's a bit wide on exit. Trying to take advantage of that up the hill. Again, deep in the toe, getting a toe all the way up to Piratella. And the AI is a bit slow through here, so I might try and uh, take advantage of that. He goes wide. Wow, I thought I was going to hit him there. Just drives across the front of the car like I'm not there. Just AI things. Still right on the back of him, though. Come on, Williams. Dive to the inside. He hops over the curb. And we are back through again. Somehow avoided the calamity that is the AI in overtaking. For now. But I'm sure he's going to be right back past me. Come the end of the straight. He's trying to be quick down the bottom here. Trying to be quick and failing. That wasn't too bad through there. Just check the mirrors again. And there, it's just full of Ferrari. It's the worst view if you're a Williams driver in 97. Look at the overspeed. I just see him getting bigger and bigger in my mirrors. I'm going to just try and take my normal line. I don't think he's going to quite be close enough. He might be. Not quite close enough to make something of it. He came so close, though. I love that about VR. I've got one eye in the mirror all the time. It feels... just gives you that extra sense of immersion, you know. What we all want is a... Shed racing fans, basement enthusiasts, whatever the hell you want to call us. There you go. Soft through there. You can really have to feed the car in now. So I think I might have touched it before, but the car does feel a bit quick, I think. Especially in these faster corners. I expect it to move around a bit more for a car of this era, but it's still a lot, a lot of fun to drive. It really is, and of course, topped, on by the, topped off by the iconic Rothmans livery. I love that thing. 
trying to keep the car in a straight line as possible through there because you can see it wants to just react. Starting to put in the guys in front a bit. Oh wow, the rear just escaped me. Off I go into the slippy stuff. Somehow managing to keep it from spinning around there, but you see you're being a bit too aggressive on the way in. The rear wants to come around. You, I just, I mean, just saved it. But that was sketchy. There you go. So we're coming on to the last lap now. There's going to be a Ferrari, I think, having a go at me down in the T1. I'm not sure what to do, just one eye in the mirror. He's getting closer. I don't think it's going to quite be close enough for a go in the T1. Not quite. Nearly, though. Just trying to carry the speed. I feel like the Williams carries the speed better than the Ferrari does, but the, the Ferrari just has to grunt in the straight line. Yeah, over the kerb for the last time. Tosa for the last time. Bit quick into there. Almost locked up on the way in. Stamp on the throttle on the way out. Check the mirror. We're good. Right, we're going to be really strong through here if we want to try and make up anything. Oh, I had to get out of it there. A little bit wide. That green Astro turf on the exit is so slippy. There's a car off to the left there. It's going to be a free place for us. Not how you want to do it, but I'll take it anyway. Can we be quick over the chicane for the last time? Oh, wow. Just about managing to keep it under wraps. We're almost in the toe of the car in front. Almost. If I could just be a bit closer. Just can't quite match the AI through there. That's so much quicker than me. Oh, sideways on exit. Check the mirrors. We should be okay. Not able to catch the guy in front, but that was a... An awesome experience in the Williams FW19. A couple of places outside the points for 97. Eighth place. Not a bad run, though, at all. And my word, this car is fantastic. I love cars like this. You know the best thing about this? All this detail, everything you see here, the way it sounds, the way it feels. It's free. This is a free mod from VRC. There'll be a link for it in the description. Definitely go and try it out yourself because this was one big nostalgia hit for me. And... Uh, big smile on my face but guys really hoped you enjoyed this video i really enjoyed filming it i love doing stuff like this so it's always a pleasure to get the opportunity to do so if you did like the video that is then make sure to hit that like button if you really liked it then hit the subscribe button and the bell notification icon because that way to be made notified of future videos and future streams as always a massive massive thank you to my patrons and to my sponsors you guys keep the channel running and hopefully one day we'll see williams return to this form Take care, have an awesome day, I'll see you all next time.